good morning again, everybody. Thank you for joining in this meditation this morning. <clears throat> and Merry Christmas. It's that, <clears throat> excuse me, wonderful time of the year again, where we celebrate the arrival of a bearded figure dressed all about in red, who knows if you're awake and whether or not you appreciate the present. Of course, I'm referring to Dharuma or uh, Bodhidharma uh, in the Zen Buddhist tradition. <clears throat> As a uh, Buddhist in a community that doesn't have a lot of Buddhists, and as a, a visible Buddhist in a community that definitely doesn't have a lot of visible Buddhists, I'm frequently asked this time of year if Buddhists celebrate Christmas, uh, to which my answer is yes, of course they do. Um, if nothing else, I am a Buddhist and I celebrate Christmas and I have many friends who are and do the same. Uh, often leads to further questions because uh, in, in many of our minds, we, we know that uh, Christmas is a Christian religious tradition. And while Christmas definitely uh, has originated in and, and is perpetuated in the Christian religious tradition, one of the hallmarks of the Buddhist religious tradition is that at the core of Buddhism, uh, Buddhism does not have rigid uh, dogmatic beliefs that it demands or, or expects of, of its adherents. Uh, it is a it is a practice and a, a, an understanding seeking out the nature of suffering in this lifetime and, and how to be free of it. And that at its core is why Buddhism has so successfully spread throughout the world with relative peace and, and been integrated into so many of the cultures that it has encountered uh, throughout history, including now our various Western cultures that it is slowly integrating into. And this, this leads to the fact that, that there are many people who find, since Buddhism doesn't insist on, on belief in, in particular religious dogma, like the, the nature of, of a, a creator or a, a life after death or whatnot, though it, it does not dismiss and, and, and allows for them as well, uh, people find that the teachings of Buddhism don't conflict with their inherent religious tradition or belief, and so they, they find no contradiction in celebrating them alongside. So many uh, Western Buddhists uh, of, of European or, or the European colonized Western Hemisphere uh, <clears throat> who are convert Buddhists are, are raised in a uh, culture that is permeated with Judeo-Christian teachings and, and beliefs, and yet at the same time, they don't find that the teachings of Buddhism are in conflict with that, and so they may celebrate both. Now, it is likely that, that most ethnically, culturally ethnic Buddhists aren't celebrating Christmas uh, in the East, um, and that plays into another uh, factor and, and reason why there, there are Buddhists who celebrate Christmas, and that is that both Buddhism and Christianity are, are not simply religious traditions as they had started out, um, but are also now cultural institutions. Uh, in, in the East, Buddhism is as much a fabric of the everyday culture as Judeo-Christianity is in the West. You know, we, even people who don't consider themselves religious or observantly religious uh, are still immersed in this culture that has been permeated and saturated and influenced by these religious traditions for millennia now in both cases. You know, why in, in the Western world, we, we may still express surprise by saying, oh my God, even if we don't explicitly believe in the notion of a God or the Christian God, or why we say bless you when somebody sneezes is simply a part of our cultural fabric. And the same is true of Buddhism in the Eastern tradition. So much so that that Christmas, as as much as a uh, as it is still a religious observance for many people, is also now a secular celebration and observance for people who don't even consider themselves Christian, but who simply enjoy the the spirit of 
uh, goodwill and loving kindness of gift exchange of time spent with family and friends and so forth. You have uh, its character of, of uh, and figure of Santa Claus, uh, who is has become in many ways separated from any religious inspiration for his existence, and find it much as the same is true of Daruma. Uh, it, Daruma is based loosely uh, off of the Zen Buddhist monk and figure of Bodhidharma, the founder of our Zen tradition. But in Japan, where he's known as Bodai Daruma or simply Daruma, uh, he's become a folk figure, a folk tradition and a token of good luck. And you're going to find images of Daruma in households and in businesses and so forth that people who may not consider themselves Buddhists or, or observant Buddhists in much the same way that you have people celebrating Christmas who don't consider themselves Christian or explicitly Christian. And so with that in mind, I personally uh, rather enjoy the Christmas season as, uh, uh, as both a Buddhist and somebody raised in a cultural uh, Christian uh, background uh, and for the reasons that I've mentioned as a celebration of goodwill, as a celebration of metta and uh, time spent with family and and definitely with good food. That's that's one of the highlights for me of any cultural or religious celebration. I'm, I'm only here for the food, as I like to say. And so uh, and so that's what I share with people when asked if Buddhists celebrate Christmas and, and certainly not all of them do. But many of them do, and and for all of those who who do, uh, I hope that you are having a wonderful Christmas today and and uh, in the days to come. All right, thank you for listening in uh, on that. I would like to go through today in in the spirit of of Christmas and and goodwill and and renewal, I would like us to uh, recite a couple of things together. Uh, one of them on page 33 of this small chant book I have is the mantra of forgiveness, Reverend Scott. I, I don't know if you can find that in a quick second here. All right. And for many people, uh, Christmas is unfortunately a very stressful time. And among the stresses in include, you know, finding just the right gift, of course, but also the stress of sometimes being around family brings up stresses that we're able to maybe set aside for the rest of the year when we're not in such close proximity. And, and among those things are our grievances and things that we may have had trouble letting go of or forgiving. And this is an excellent practice in acknowledging uh, those things that we still struggle with and want to be able to forgive. So. Uh, please follow along with me as we recite the mantra of forgiveness. You have caused me pain. I have not forgiven you. You have caused me pain. I have not forgiven you. You acted out of your own pain. I responded with my pain. Suffering comes from desire and ignorance. May all beings find peace. You have caused me pain. I am willing to forgive you. You have caused me pain. I am willing to forgive you. You acted out of your own pain. I responded with my pain. May all beings find peace. You have caused me pain. I now forgive you. You have caused me pain. I now forgive you. You acted out of your own pain. I responded with my pain. Suffering comes from desire and ignorance. May all beings find peace. All who suffer from desire and ignorance feel pain. All who suffer from desire and ignorance feel pain. We add to suffering as we respond out of pain. Suffering comes from desire and ignorance. 
May all beings find peace. And in that same spirit and in the spirit of the upcoming new year, on the same page is the repentance verse, another great exercise in letting go of, of our bad actions and the things that we have done and striving not to repeat them and, and to, to do good actions. Repentance verse. All my ancient twisted karma from beginningless greed, hate, and delusion born through my body, speech, and mind, I now fully avow. May this merit pervade all existence. May we and all beings achieve liberation. Veneration to all awakened ones of present, past, and future. The world honored one, great bodhisattvas, great heart of wisdom. And may the suffering ones be suffering free. May the, steer, the fear struck fearless be. May the grieving shed all grief and the sick find health relief. Like now to ask if Ty Kozan has anything he would like to add or say this morning. Hello, my dear ones. It is indeed Christmas. <clears throat> and here we celebrate Budimus. So uh, the song we sing, we wish you a merry Budimus. We wish you a merry Budimus. We wish you a merry Budimus and a happy new year. So happy Budimus, everybody. Christmas stands for Christ's Mass and for us buddhismus but i also love this the concept of christmas it's meta personified and i love the fact that we're focused towards kindness and loving we have a new chant book reverend scott is that real and available in the lulu it sure is it is live okay right. we have a live lulu book and reverend scott will post that in the chat that you can buy the new one and is the new one online yet? Is it on our website? Uh, not as a PDF yet, but as uh, a link to Lulu, but I will have the PDF, PDF uh, available as a uh, download uh, shortly. Good, and how much is the Lulu cost of the book? Do you know? I think $14.38 comes to mind, Plus something postage. like that. Plus postage? I believe so, yeah. And I think the temple gets a huge amount of money out of that, don't we? He's like half or so, yeah. <laughs> oh. So you're welcome to buy the new chat book on Lulu, and I've ordered one. Or you can download it, give Scott a week, Reverend Scott a week, and it'll be downloadable on the uh, website to save us some money. But the new chat book, we've been paying for the printing ourselves and printing them. Now, we will have some new chant books here at the temple that we paid a printer to publish, but in the future, we'll go through Lulu all the time. Um, what else do we have? The trip to India that we were planning has been canceled. And the reason for that is there's so much COVID in China right now, which shares a border with India and so many variations of the COVID virus that we're not I'm not comfortable that our current immunizations will cover the new strains of COVID coming out of China right now, because it's such a huge population shift and such a huge infection in mainland China at this time. Um, I want to encourage us all to do something especially kind and loving over the weekend. Odin's talked about helping people out that are running into homelessness. I want to encourage if we see homeless people, let's buy them a meal or give them a couple of dollars or give them some food that they can use that's easy to do. Um, and I want to encourage to make that part of our meta practice. We have so many brothers and sisters that are out there suffering. And Sister Min Bao wisely did not try to pull over and help someone who was camping out on the snow. Sister Min Bao, thank you for taking good care of yourself. 
We appreciate that. We're glad that you're here. But if we can, if we see homeless, let us see if we can do something kind and loving. Um, we're opening up one of our meditation huts here. Taizi is actively out looking for homeless people. And Taizi, may that work well for you. Having done that in Long Beach many, many years ago when I was there, I used to bring only the older homeless folks home and tell them to go take a bath and I would wash their clothes. And it was interesting and bizarre is what I read into. So may your, may your journey with that be good, but I think it would help if we could all just do a little bit as we are able, my friends. Um, Reverend Jeff, thank, or Venerable Jeff, thank you very much for reminding us all that Christmas can be our holiday also. And here at the Abbey, we have Christmas ornaments on the trees down the drive, and we have garland wrapped around some of the trees also. And uh, Scott was kind enough to take us to a restaurant, and I just want to share something that we ran into there. Can you all see that? <laughs> The very best of Bodhidharma, who carried uh, Buddhism uh, uh, around. In, around uh, this is with the bag. Yes, the uh, very best of Buddhist thought, and this wonderful monk who carried. This isn't Bodhidharma. Who carried? Uh, uh, this is Bodhi, who carried uh, Buddhism around and taught children and village to village, and was the symbol of giving up earthly wealth for the richness of looking within. And I love it that he's so well decorated. And this was in a Thai restaurant. So I think that's great fun, great fun. That's all I've got. Any other announcements from the room? And I see that the Lulu is in the chat book. There's a link to, uh, there's a link to the temple. I think it's, on the temple under liturgy, is that right, Reverend Scott? Yes, exactly. We have, yeah, we have just a minute more. Could I get wisdom for today from Wen Ming, uh, Eric, Emily, and Patricia? Wen Ming, what is your wisdom for our group this day? Oh. Oh, I wasn't thinking about any wisdom. <laughs> uh, I just thought uh, it was, I really appreciated uh, how uh, the Sangha, memory in the Sangha help other people, the, the homeless people. I really appreciate that. A uh, while ago, I was thinking about, yeah, that's a good idea. What, what, but what if they don't leave? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I think uh, if you're very compassionate, probably you don't think about that, All right? <laughs> well, to be very honest, uh, Tai Z has had a semi-homeless person in his home for free for many years, so I think he's sort of used to that. Eric, what is your wisdom for our group this day? Uh, do your best with what you have. Mm. And Emily? Um, I'm reminded of how you've taught me to carry McDonald's cards <laughs> in the car. So I go to McDonald's, I get $25 worth of food on some cards, and then I have them ready to hand out at the, um, at the corner with the highway. And that feels proactive and easy. And I think of Cozen every time I do it. So thank you, Ty Cozen, my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> And my wisdom, my wisdom today is to try and be in the moment, not go in the past and not go in the future. Just enjoy today and your family. And God bless, well, bless you all. Well, God bless us too, Patricia. God okay. Bless. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you have family that's Mormon and Patricia's grandson is going on a, a Mormon uh, mission for a couple of years. Tuesday. Tuesday he's going. And the the Mormons are very good about helping people learn languages and sending them. Where is he going, Patricia? He's going just below Mexico City. Uh, something like Pueblo, but it's not Pueblo. It starts with a P. All right. So they send them to language schools and they send them off to help them learn about the, the faith of the Latter-day Saints. And 
while I don't, he, don't always agree with what I read in Christian thoughts and stuff, but I do agree with they're doing this out of a good hearted effort to share joy and peace. For an 18 year old to leave his family and friends and girlfriend and everything, it's a big thing for, for him. So he's yeah. dedicated to it. It is, it is most wonderful. May it, may it go well for him and his family. Thank you. And at the very least, he's going to be real good in Spanish when he comes back. <laughs> I get to spend the whole day with him tomorrow. Oh, good for you. Good for you. May yeah. it go well. My dear ones, this is our Sangha. This is, look around the room. Everyone who shared meta and well-wishing and gratitude today, this is our Sangha. And as we teach each other what we're grateful for, we teach each other that we want to send out active meta to different people. Let us make that a real part of our practice again and again and again and again. And when we get done with doing it all, let's do it some more. Sean, congrats on the haircut. I sort of liked your long <laughs> hair, but you look very stylish now, my friend. Pretty impressive. Odin, good luck in your journey towards, towards uh, yeah. to be clergy. John, why did you get your hair cut? Um, actually, I was noticing it falling out, and I wanted to uh, lighten the load on, on, on my roots, and maybe help my roots out a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if, how that, if that's how that works, but here we are. I want to know what uh, Venerable Jeff has in his beard. He's decorated for Christmas. Christmas so. ornaments. Uh, and little little ornaments. <laughs> Much like Radcast the Brown from the Trilogy of the Rings, who had a bird's <laughs> nest in his beard, Venerable <laughs> Jeff appears to have Christmas in his beard. <laughs> Venerable Jeff, we have an offering of merit to end our service today. Would you like to have somebody do that, or would you like to do that, my friend? Oh, well. Why don't we ask somebody to do that? Good suggestion. Thank you, sir. Now I can't see everybody though. So how about uh, actually uh, Donna Minnan, would you be willing to lead the offering of merit for us? <coughs> Dedication of merit. May the merit of this penetrate into each thing in all places so that we and every sentient being together can realize the Buddha's way. All Buddhas throughout space and time, all Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas, wisdom beyond wisdom, Maha, Prashna, Paramita. Namotasa Bhagavato, Arahara, Samasambudhasa. Wow. That's wonderful. Wow. Most wonderful. My dear ones, while we were sitting, there was a person named Sam who showed up here at the temple to, I don't know why, but he was here wandering around and, and uh, uh, Cody, our farm manager, was here clearing some snow on the road and told me that Sam was there. So I went out to meet Sam, who is a wanderer and maybe homeless, I don't know, but has a car. And so I wish him well. I'm going to go out and see him and see if we can support his journey in any way, shape, or form. I'll see you uh, next week, which I think is New Year's. And if anybody's around here at New Year's and it's safe to drive, we're gonna ring the great bell 108 times mm -hmm. New Year's Eve. But right now we've got about a two inch layer of ice on our road. So I don't encourage anybody at this time to come up. I can barely walk across our driveway. Take care. And Bonte, I'm going to come over and say hello to you very shortly, if that's okay with you. I don't get to see him anymore. He's sequestered in his room, the clever monk. Sounds good, cousin. <laughs> Bye, my friends. Merry, Merry Christmas to it all. Bye-bye. <laughs>